All right, you guys. So right now, I'm going over your quiz. All right. So I'm just going to start off with number one. Number one says, figure ABC is shown on a coordinate plane. If the figure ABC is translated, what will be the angle measurement of C prime? And explain. So if we know that angle A is 70 degrees and angle D is 70 degrees, and we also know angle C is 110 and angle B is 110 degrees. All right, what we can say, I'm sorry, y'all, this handwriting is bad. Hold on. What we can say is we don't need to know if it's moving up, down, right, or left. All we need to know and what I need for you guys to know is, is that whenever you translate, you are preserving you're preserving the image. And when you preserve the image, that means that your angles will stay the same. So just by us translating this figure, the measurement of C prime will stay the same at 110 degrees. Number two. Number two says, which segment image of JB is a reflection across the x-axis? So first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to label this the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. And JB is right here. So if I have, if I have JB right here and if i'm doing a reflection across the x-axis i'm doing a reflection across this axis right here and when i do the reflection across this axis i'm going to end up right here so i think the segment that's down there is q u that's your answer So this is the one that I messed up on. So I need for everybody to realize that your pre-image is the black T. All right. It's the black T. So it's the T that's located in, if I have lines, this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. The T that you need to be looking at is the one located in quadrant two. All right. It says a letter T was graphed on a coordinate plane. Which of the following options shows a reflection across the X axis? So once again, if I have, if it's located right here, and if I'm reflecting across the X axis, then that means that my reflection is going to happen on this axis right here, which means that the image is going from quadrant one and it is moving to quadrant three. So your answer is the image that's located in quadrant three. Number four. It says triangle J B E is rotated negative. 30 degrees around the origin. What is the length of J of J prime and E prime? All right. So you guys do not need to measure. Uh, then you have the options. A is seven units. B is nine units. And C is 10 units. All right, so you do not, you guys do not need to really rotate this. What I need for you guys to understand is that when we move, when we rotate, when we reflect, remember that when we rotate and when we reflect, we preserve, we're preserving 
the image. And when we preserve the image, our measurement stays the same and our angle stays the same. So all we need to do is count the distance between J to E. And you, that is going from E is at 2 to, so you count at 2. So go to the number line off to the right and start at 2 and go all the way up until you get to the number 8. And so 2, 3. So when you count, you're not counting from 2. Like 2 is the first point. So I'm going to count. I'm going to start at 2, and I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right? It's 7 units. It went from 2 to 0.9, which is 7 units. That's 7 spaces in between. That's how I would want you to look at that. So it's 7 spaces in between 2 and 9. If you look off to the side, I know my measurement isn't. Exact and maybe the J is a little bit off. I know I know I'm sorry But what I'm looking for you guys to understand is that when you count from E to J You're counting seven units and what I really want you guys to understand is that whenever you're rotating translating or reflecting We are preserving the image. So the thing so if the distance was seven inches is going to be seven inches seven inches is the if the length was 20 inches then the length will still be 20 inches all right let's move on to number five it says what type of transformation was performed all right now we need to remember i'm actually going to do five and six at the same time so a reflection is when we flip all right, and when we flip, we are preserving the distance mm -hmm. and the image. All right, the next one is a translation. And this is when we move up up, down, right, left. And also, we're preserving the distance and the image. After that, I have a rotation. When we talk about rotation, we're talking about counterclockwise. And that's positive. And that's moving to the left. And when we talk about rotation, we're also talking about clockwise. And that's negative. And that's moving to the right. And this also, this also preserves distance and the image. And finally, we have a dilation. And that tells us if we're going to make something smaller or bigger. Now, dilation does not preserve the image. So when I go to question five, if we look at our image, we were in, we have a triangle. And I have Q, U, N, Q prime, N prime. Yeah. 
U Prime and Prime. If you look, we just we just moved over to the right, and one of our transformations has said that when we move up, down, over to the right, that's called a translation. So what we did is we just did a translation. Now I know for number six, I have put transformations on there. I meant translations. I'm sorry about that mistake. Let's go to number seven. Number seven, it says, all right, I'm gonna try to do this one right. It says lines R and S are parallel. It says line R and S are parallel. Both lines, oh, let me put some lines up there. So R is going to be red and S is going to be, no, they're both going to be red. R, S. It says both lines are rotated 90 degrees about the origin from the lines from uh, to form lines R prime and S prime, which lines are parallel to the Y axis. So this is the Y axis. And if we go, it says that we are rotating 90 degrees. All right, if we rotate 90 degrees, that means 90 degrees. So we're going counterclockwise. We're rotating 90 degrees. So my new lines are going to look like this. This is going to be R prime, and this is going to be S prime. And now R prime and S prime are parallel to the Y axis. So when I look at my answer number one, it says R and S are parallel to the Y axis. That's not true because R and S are right here. It says only R. That doesn't make sense. It says R prime and S prime. That does make sense because look, R prime, S prime, and they're parallel. And then the last one said none lines. Well, no, because one of them is true. So our answer is the third one. Question eight. All right, so it says if triangle CBA is rotated 180 degrees, what are the coordinates of, of C prime, B prime, and A prime? So once again, I'm going to put a coordinate plane on here. And I'm going to put the quadrants. All right, so... What I need for you guys to understand is that anything that happens when we rotate 180 degrees, we're rotating and we're moving in two quadrants. Our figure is located in quadrant one. So in quadrant one, we have X and Y and X and Y is going to be positive and positive. In quadrant two, X is going to be negative. Y is going to be positive. In quadrant three, negative negative and quadrant four positive negative so if our figure is located in this quadrant right here and if i have to rotate it 180 degrees that's moving two quadrants so i'm gonna go one two i'm now in quadrant three i went from quadrant one and i moved to quadrant three when i move to quadrant three all of my points here are negative so your answer for number eight is going to be a prime is negative seven, negative three. B prime is going to be negative 12, negative eight. And C prime is going to be negative seven, negative 10. And that's your answer. If you guys need any help, my number is 856-394-3563. All right. Thank you.